Welcome to the Colleges That Change Lives Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Anna and I'll be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on our website. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash ctcl. And now I just have a quick video to share with everyone. Hi, I'm the Executive Director of the Colleges That Change Lives. Congratulations on starting or continuing your college search. And thanks for saying yes to spending some time with us during the virtual college fair. I'm so excited for you. Take a deep breath. You got this. One thing you need to know about all of the colleges that change lives is that we are fiercely committed and dedicated to the individual student, that's you, and a student-centered search. You really matter to us. So think about what you value and what you're looking for in your college experience. What will make you happy on campus? What sorts of experiences are you looking forward to having in and outside of the classroom? What sorts of clubs and organizations do you want to get involved with? Do you want to start? What sorts of folks do you want to be surrounded by? People who have similar backgrounds, similar viewpoints and opinions, or people who come from different backgrounds who have different opinions and viewpoints. What kinds of conversations do you want to get involved in on campus, again, in and out of the classroom? Which ones do you want to start? Which ones do you want to spill out into the hallways after class has ended? What sort of physical environment are you looking forward to? Do you want to be in an urban metropolitan area or further away in what I call a more rural, nature, green stuff kind of space. How close do you want to be to home or what you call home? Do you want to try something completely different in a location that's brand new to you? Or do you want to stay a little closer to what's familiar? If it matters to you, it matters to us. You'll have an opportunity to ask questions in the chat during each session. So make sure you show up as yourself, be yourself, and get those questions answered. The colleges that change lives are 44 distinctly different liberal arts institutions located across the United States. Although they are all different in terms of their academic offerings, their personalities, their vibe on campus, sometimes even their single gender focus or faith affiliation, they all share a commitment to you and to the liberal arts because we believe that no matter what you want to study or what you think you want to do once you have graduated from college, the liberal arts provides you with lifelong learning and will make you a more effective communicator, resourceful problem solver, and global citizen. And we think that's super important, especially for today. If there are questions that you have that don't get answered, or we can provide additional support or be a resource for you after the fair, throughout your college search and application process, don't hesitate to reach out to any one of the member colleges or myself. And if there are schools that you'd like to learn more about or schools that are not represented at the virtual fair, be sure to check them out at our website, ctcl.org. Good luck. And thanks again for being here. Thank you, everyone. And now I'd like to turn it over to Beloit College, our first presenter. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. My name is Hernan Santa Cruz. Thank you for spending some time learning about our marvelous colleges that change lives. I am a representative for Beloit College, but most importantly, a Beloit alum who graduated two years ago and without a doubt realized that it was the greatest and continues to be the greatest decision I've ever done in my life. 
So a little bit about Beloit College. Beloit College was founded in 1846, and that makes us the oldest continuously running college in Wisconsin. We are located right at the borderline with Illinois, close to the city of Chicago, Milwaukee, and Madison. And for 175 years, we've been providing a stellar education to our students, turning them into effective communicators, productive collaborators, creative problem solvers, and students and professionals with incredible agility, both intellectually and professionally. It is truly an education that transcends specific majors and areas of interest and is relevant for a lifetime. We are a small school with a little over 1,200 students. And what makes the Lord really special are those students. So let's learn a little bit more about them. Well, it's always been focused on creating a more diverse experience. Uh, a couple of numbers that we really like to highlight here is the amount of BIPOC students that we have on campus, making us the most diverse college in Wisconsin, and nearly 20% of international students that help from more than 40 different countries that call Beloit their home. Now this, taken as a proportion of our student population of about 1,200 students, is a pretty spectacular thing. Uh, you will meet Beloiters from all over the world, all over the country, from all walks of life, and that makes for a very enriching, unique educational experience. What really makes Beloit special, again, are the students within it, the involvement that they have on campus, the pro uh, products uh, that they generate while they're here in terms of their educational achievements their leadership achievements and their excellence in general. So truly it is a diverse experience unlike anywhere else. Now, when it comes to college, of course, we need to talk about the majors and the minors and the academic pursuits. And although Beloit has a little over 40 majors offered currently, the possibilities are truly infinite. And what I mean by that is that students have the curricular flexibility to choose between not only any number of majors and minors, but to create combinations within that that make for very interesting results in your educational experiences. The permutations are nearly limitless. We have students who choose amongst our most popular majors, for instance, biochemistry and a double major with creative writing. Now, in fact, more than one third of our students double major and oftentimes it is amongst disciplines that seem completely disconnected, but that will make you say a better doctor, a better writer. In many ways, in indescribable, unquantifiable ways, but it really matters. That's what the liberal arts education of Beloit does. It produces that critical thinking development, that creative problem solving that makes you the most brilliant doctor or writer or business person that you like to be. And so some of our most popular majors include some of the things I've mentioned already, anthropology in part of our spectacular museum of anthropology on campus, our biochemistry program that leads students to become excellent people in the world of health and medicine, our business in economics major, one of four branches in the economics program that actually allows students to sit uh, every year with the famous economists, many of them Nobel laureates, one on one, pretty spectacular, and creative writing, which allows you to learn not only the creative part of writing and the process of creation, but also the process of editing and the business of writing books and our media studies program, which uh, can really be centered on our Center for Entrepreneurship, where you have an art gallery, a recording studio, a art space, and a variety of different areas for students to really make the most out of their time there. So truly, the possibilities are endless and for you to make the most out of the experience while you're here at Beloit. Now, another thing that really marks the Beloit experience is how we really push innovation to its limit, and we are innovation at its finest. Two of our biggest programs for that is our Advanced Mentoring Program and our Career Channels Program. The Advanced Mentoring Program, or AMP, actually promises that you'll be connected to your uh, academic advisor, which is always a professor at Beloit, within 72 hours of deciding to become a Beloiter. And then you'll have classes with them for the first year. Then Career Channel serves as a springboard to your career at Beloit, where we connect you to our vast alumni network, prepare you for pre-professional and professional opportunities, internships, research opportunities, special projects, which then leads to pretty spectacular success with a postgraduate success uh, where 93% of our students within six months of graduating are employed or in graduate school. Now, 
college isn't all just studying and books. It really is about, at least in Beloit's case, about the campus and the residential experience. So this campus, what I love about it, certainly while I was a student, I loved it, was that it's a campus that feels designed for the student because it is. Here we see some students walking in their downtown area in the farmer's market, a beautiful picture of the fall, and our newest student union, the powerhouse, which used to be this uh, coal-powered energy plan that we've now turned into this spectacular new student union. And again, what makes Beloit a really spectacular place for engaged students is a place where you are more than just a great student. You're someone who contributes to the community, who belongs to more than the 60 plus clubs uh, that we have on campus, who perhaps is an athlete, who perhaps has aspirations of becoming the president of the student government. We want students who are involved and leave their mark on the community because that's what makes Beloit oh so special. Now, after hearing all that, I'm sure many of you are itching to know how to become a Beloiter, and there's a few things that we need to talk about. First is that Beloit is pretty spectacular with financial aid and merit-based scholarships. In fact, our merit-based scholarships range up to $36,000. And we have been named often in many lists as one of the best schools for financial aid and merit aid in the entire country. So it's really something that we're committed to and that we know Beloit can be an affordable institution. In terms of affordability, it's also important to know that it costs absolutely nothing to apply to Beloit. There is no application fee and we're on the Common App, so we're just one click away. In reviewing your application, we practice what's called holistic review, where we examine your essay, the letter of recommendation that we require from a teacher, your transcript, not just in terms of your grades, but in terms of rigor and how much you've pushed yourself during high school. We evaluate the type of extracurricular activities that you've done, and we are proudly and decisively test optional. We have been for years and we will continue to be. We think you are more than just that one number uh, from a test. Now, if any of you listening to this uh, is a senior right now, you can certainly still apply for our November 1st early action or early decision deadline. If not, if you need a little more time, you can do early action too. And if not, January 15 for our regular decision. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me, screenshot this, take a picture of this slide. I am happy to connect with any of you, parents, students, counselors, I absolutely loved my Beloit experience. It was truly life-changing as part of the CTCL colleges and a choice that I realized from the moment I made it to this day and for many, many years to be the greatest decision I've ever made. It is a place unlike anywhere else and truly a college for spectacular students doing spectacular things. So go ahead and take a, a great adventure into Beloit College and let me know if there's anything we can do to help make this a reality. Thank you very much. And it's a pleasure to connect with you all today. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Knox College. Oh, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Hannah Miller, and I am an admission counselor from Knox College. To start my timer here, make sure I don't go over time. Um, so Knox College, here's our whirlwind tour of the human powered Knox experience. Um, so Knox is located in Galesburg, Illinois. I'm not sure where you all are watching from, but I'm guessing a lot of you probably haven't been to Galesburg. So I like to start with this lovely photo of some people biking in Galesburg um, and just some ways to think about Galesburg. So we are not a huge city, but we're also not a tiny, tiny town. Um, we're located in the western prairie of Illinois. We're about three hours from Chicago by car or by train. Um, and we're home to about 33,000 people. And we are deeply Midwestern. Um, these people in Galesburg are super nice and super friendly. And the college has always been deeply entwined with the city of Galesburg. Um, it's a place with roots. Galesburg and Knox College were founded at the same time by the same group of people. Um, they were both founded in 1837 by a group of abolitionists from New York State. Um, so Knox has always been a part of Galesburg and Galesburg has always been a part of Knox. They're both places with a lot of intertwined history. Um, and it's a great place for food. We have 30 plus restaurants within three minutes of campus. We have a super charming, like kind of quintessentially Midwestern small town or like small town feel historic downtown um, about three minutes from, from campus. 
and we have tons of awesome family owned restaurants there. Um, it's also a place that's well connected to other places. So we're about 45 minutes from both the Quad Cities Airport and the Peoria Airport, so it's easy to fly in and out. Um, we're also on the Amtrak line, so you can take a train to Chicago. A lot of students will do that on the weekends. You can also take a train to Denver or Kansas City or various other places. Um, and it's also an opportunity. Galesburg is a place that is big enough to have some awesome like job shadowing and internship opportunities, but it's also small enough that there isn't a ton of competition for those opportunities. So all of that is really available to Knox students. So things everyone wants to know, right? All the numbers. Um, so we're very similar to Beloit. We have we also have about 1,200 students, so pretty small, pretty cozy. Most of those students live on campus all four years. Um, so you're in class together, but you're also living together and getting to know each other on a pretty deep level. Um, and we, we also have an exceptionally diverse student body. Um, our students currently range, currently hail from about 45 different states and 49 different countries. Um, about 32% of our students identify as people of color and about 19% are international students. Um, so while you might be coming from, you know, close to Galesburg or super far away, like most of the people you're living and learning with will be coming from all over the country and all over the world, um, which is really awesome. And we also have 18 NCAA Division III athletic teams. Um, between 30 and 40% of our students on any given year um, are a member of one of those varsity athletic teams. We also have some really popular intramural athletic teams. Um, our ultimate Frisbee team in particular is super popular. Um, at our peak before the pandemic, we had about 90 students on the ultimate team. So that's really popular. Um, and we also have 100 plus other student run organizations. And if you don't find one that you wanna be a part of, it's really easy to start your own. Um, people start really fun kind of quirky student clubs and organizations. Like one of the students who works in our office started something called Worm Club. Um, she like works on the campus farm and is really excited about composting. So she started Worm Club where they do a specific type of composting that uses worms. And now there are like 15 people in that. So it's pretty cool. Um, Obviously, we are one of the CTCL schools, which we're super proud of. Um, and I just love this quote from CTCL about Knox. Every student comes from a unique background and has a different story to tell. It's a wealth of exposure that nourishes students hungry to learn, to step outside of their comfort zones. I think that really perfectly characterizes the Knox student. Um, these students are hungry to learn. They want to be nourished by knowledge. And they're really willing to step outside of their comfort zones and meet new people and learn new things. So since you can't be on campus right now, how does it feel to be here? Um, it feels busy, but not chaotic. Um, it feels productive. People are engaged in their work and they're doing good work, but they're also not exclusively goal oriented. They like to get involved and relax and have fun too. Um, students are collaborative. I think this is the best way to describe the academic environment at Knox. It's really rigorous, but it's much more collaborative than competitive. Um, your classmates like care about each other. You all are excited about one another's accomplishments and ideas, and you're not like super like cutthroat competitive with each other. Um, people are philosophical, but not like pretentious. Um, people are also really friendly, but not shallow. I think it's just like, it comes down to our Midwestern location and people who come to Knox come there because they're drawn to that just like friendly kind of humble down to earth atmosphere. Um, people are super unapologetically smart. Again, like not pretentious about it, not competitive about it, but just cool and smart and clever and excited by ideas. Um, and it's a very human place. Again, just like smart people coming from all around the world in this deeply Midwestern location, it just feels deeply human. Um, so here's our list of majors and minors. This list is always growing. Um, this year we added a major in journalism as well as a major and a minor in public policy. Um, we're always adding new majors and minors based on student interest. You'll also notice that you can have the option to do self-designed studies. So if you don't find a major that is exactly what you want to study, you can design your own major, which is really cool. Um, and you'll also notice any of the science majors with a plus sign by them. We offer both a Bachelor of Arts degree as well as a Bachelor of Science degree. Um, for some students, that's an important distinction for grad school or other things that they want to do. Um, so it's pretty cool that we offer that, that distinction for students. So three things that you'll find at Knox that you won't necessarily find anywhere else. Um, the first is the power of experience grant. So every Knox student engages in some sort of experiential learning. About 90% of students will do independent research during their time at Knox. 
about 80% will do an internship, um, and over half of our students study abroad. So the Power of Experience grant is a $2,000 grant that's automatically given to every Knox student. So that's on top of your financial aid, on top of other grants that you can apply for to fund research and study abroad and all that stuff. Um, so it's $2,000 that you automatically have um, to support your experiential learning in any way that you see fit. So that can be like buying a professional wardrobe for your internship. It can be buying the plane ticket for your study abroad, all kinds of different things. Um, second, the 3-3 academic calendar. So what that means is we have three terms per year and typically during each term you'll take three classes. So you'll take nine classes throughout a year instead of at a typical like semester schedule, you take about, about four classes per semester, two semesters per year, eight classes per year. So at Knox you typically take like one more class per year. Um, so it gives you a little bit more room in your schedule over the four years to explore. Um, but then within every term, because you're just taking three classes, you can really like focus and go deeper into those classes. Um, and then your faculty are only typically teaching two courses per term. So faculty have tons of time um, to work with you and meet with you, and you'll have really intensive relationships with them. And then finally, immersion terms. So an immersion term is a little bit different from a regular term. Um, you are like fully immersed in something. So one of these is open studio term for our studio art students. Um, you have like your own studio space to develop your portfolio and put on a gallery show at the end of the term. We also have repertory theater term, which is one of the most comprehensive um, theater opportunities available to undergraduates. Um, so those are super cool and unique to Knox. So after Knox, our grads find wonderful success as all of the CTCL schools grads do. Um, but in particular, a lot of our students go on to graduate school and that just speaks to, I think one, the level of independent research that students are able to do as undergraduates at Knox. It's very intensive and really prepares you well for graduate study. Um, and also the just genuine love of learning that Knox students tend to have. They tend to really want to go on to um, to graduate or professional school. So a lot of our students become PhDs. A lot of them go on to medical school. A lot go on to law school. Um, we also were home to the nation's first Peace Corps prep program. So students will do that in order to go on to the Peace Corps or in order to do like NGO work or any other kind of like service oriented work. And finally, some things to remember about Knox. You can really create a college experience that is unique to you. Um, and we also have a super diverse and dynamic human powered environment. It's highly adaptable. Um, you will be different from every other major whose major is the same as yours. Your studies will look different. And we're a community of people with a can do spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Next you'll be hearing from Center College. Well, howdy folks. Um, so delighted that you all have taken time out of your evening um, to be with us. Um, the CTCL schools, as you will hear now for the fourth or fifth time tonight, um, offer a lot and they offer diverse experiences. But one thing that we do um, really pride ourselves on is that we are institutions that are committed to you as students, as learners, and as people who might want to call our schools home. So I am hopeful um, that one of those schools you might be considering is Center College. I'm uh, Thomas Becker. I'm a proud Center alum, and I work for the Office of Admission at Center. Uh, we are a little bit larger than the other two schools you've heard about tonight. We have about 1,400 students. The great thing about being a small school that um, many of you are probably familiar with as you are looking at smaller liberal arts colleges is that you get a lot of contact with a lot of people. This size of school is not one where you're going to run into the same people every day and get bored. This is the size of institution where you're able to develop really intense and intentional relationships, not only with your peers, but with the faculty and staff that call that school home as well. At Center, here's a little bit about how those 1,400 students break down. So 50% of our students come from out of state and 50% are Kentuckians. We have 42 states represented on our campus. 20% of our students are first generation, nearly a quarter identify as students of color. We have over 30 languages spoken on campus and 5% of our students come to Center from abroad. We have a really wide, diverse community, um, and it's one that we hope you'll consider joining. One thing that's really important 
about the center experience is that it is highly, highly residential. 98% of center students live on campus in college owned and managed housing. The other 2% are family or medical exceptions. But what's really great about having such a high percentage of our community live right there where you are learning and growing and developing as a human is that those relationships take on a form that's not just, oh, this is my classmate. It's this is my friend or this is my collaborator and this is my internship partner. The types of things that you can do in community when that community is all together. Uh, and this includes faculty and staff who call Danville home as well. Danville, Kentucky has been called many things. The one that's here on the screen is that we're the most beautiful small city in Kentucky. Um, we have gotten accolades as one of the most beautiful college towns in the South and one of the most accessible college towns and one of the funnest college towns. Um, and for a small city of 20,000 or so, um, we're really proud of that. We have really great access to Lexington and Louisville. Those are our big cities nearby. Um, but we are a school that has a disproportionately statewide, national, and international reach. But while you're in Danville, we hope and expect that it's a place that you are going to call home. Um, and whether that's going to be by shopping, by eating, by finding a place of worship or enjoying the trails, you know, whatever that thing is that's going to connect you to this community, we hope you find it because it's really important for center students, um, we have found, and I can attest to, to call Danville home, at least for the four years that you're there. Our faculty many of whom live in Danville, most of whom live in Danville, are a key part of the center experience. They are one of the many heartbeats of what makes center center. We have a 10 to one faculty to student ratio. Many CTCL schools will have ratios in that neighborhood. At center that takes on a form, not just as a really high quality teaching and learning experience, but as a really great collaborative mentorship and even friendship experience. You know, center is the type of place where professors show up to sporting events and art shows and come to community service events and ask you to house sit for them or dog sit for them. They really ingrain their lives into the student experience at center. So if you are looking for that type of relationship and engagement, I would encourage you to look at a place like center because that small ratio, that high contact allows for that to happen. In the classroom, we have over 50 different majors and minors. All of them are available on our website. Many of them are innovative and creative. You can double major, you can minor. Our pre-professional programs are out of this world. But a little bit about the classroom dynamic itself. The average class size is 18. We cap them at 30. And it is rare that you'll be in a classroom with more than 20 students. It is a really intimate learning environment. It's the type of place where your professor will know if you don't show up to class, there are legendary stories of professors knocking on students' doors if they're missing a test or missing a final. Um, I was not one of those students, but it's the type of place that really values learning. We want to be in the classroom together, challenging each other, living and learning together. But we also know and expect that you will be spending a lot more time outside of the classroom than you will be inside of the classroom. We have 87 different clubs and organizations. It's really easy to join one or start one. And our students are involved in a wide array of things with high degrees of crossover. So the vast majority of our students are involved in regular community service. Nearly half are involved in the arts, whether that's performing or production on a stage or in a studio. And almost 50% are on one of our varsity athletic teams. And the typical center student is involved but there's no typical center student involvement. So we'd like for you to choose your own adventure, makes the center experience something that's going to enrich you and challenge you. Of all the things that center is known for, or that you might have known about us beforehand, is that we are a national leader in study abroad. 85% of center students will study abroad at least once, and over a third will study abroad twice or more. This is a deeply, deeply felt part of Center College. So for folks who want a high quality, high participation rate program, 
check center out. And for those of you who might be wary of studying abroad or studying away, just know that you will be in an environment where people are bringing diverse dynamic experiences to the table and that those are going to infuse your conversations, infuse your classroom experience and enrich your learning, whether you choose to leave Danville or not. We believe very strongly that um, the Center College experience should be robust. And so we back it up. Um, we guarantee that every student will have the chance to study abroad if they want to. We guarantee that every student will have the chance to complete a faculty mentored research project or internship for academic credit. And we guarantee that we will graduate you in four years. And if we fail to meet any of those things, and you live up to your expectations as a center student, not getting suspended or anything like that, and we can't deliver, the fifth year is on us. So we want you to take advantage of all of these opportunities, creating a robust college experience for yourself. People like Center College, they stay at Center College at a rate much higher than other liberal arts colleges and way higher than other institutions. 91% of center students return for their second year after their first year, and 85% graduate four years later. We have been ranked among having the happiest grads in the nation, and a lot of that's due to our successful outcomes. This is just a small sampling of graduate schools and employers and the status of our latest graduating class that we have stats on. This is remarkable. It's a testament to the center experience and we're really proud that we are able to provide an experience that prepares our students well for the world. It would be a delight to connect with you. Um, this is my contact information here on the screen if you wanna take a picture. Um, and I would invite you to move the world from center out because of course we have to have a really fun conclusion slide. So thank you for your time, look forward to your questions um, and please feel free to be in touch. Thank you. Lastly, you'll be hearing from Denison University. So sorry there, I'm having some technical difficulties. Just give me two seconds. Your slideshow was coming up. Like okay, perfect. It. Yes, yeah. now I can see it. All right, well, with that, I'll get started. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah. I am an admission counselor at Denison University. I am also a Denison grad, so I'm really excited to get to talk to you today about everything Denison. Um, so you've been hearing from a lot of colleges today, and I'm sure that as you go through your college search, you're hearing from a lot of different universities. So today we want to focus on what makes Denison different. That really breaks down to these three things. That breaks down to our relationships. So relationships are really the core of everything that we do here at Denison. Relationships with your fellow classmates, relationships with your professors, all of those connections are a deep and enriching part of that Denison experience as well as our opportunities. So we wanna put as many things in front of you as possible, give you as many options as possible to go throughout your Denison experience and be able to leave a more experienced person. But overall, we are all about a competitive advantage. We wanna be sure that you are a uh, competitive applicant as you move out into the world. So we are pairing that liberal arts experience with the hard skills that you need to go out and be a successful graduate. But just to get some of our numbers out of the way, we are a bit bigger than the other institutions joining us here today. So we are about 2,300 students, the perfect size where it's big enough where you won't know every single soul on campus, but you won't get lost in a big school environment. We also come from all over the world and all over the nation. We have 46 states represented in 51 countries. I'm personally from California originally, so my first time ever in Ohio was visiting Denison. 
in, could not have been more happy to be able to call that place my home. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so you're going to be meeting a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds during your time at Denison. But most of all, you'll be spending your time here in Granville, Ohio. So Granville, Ohio was founded in 1805 from settlers from Granville, Massachusetts. So while we are quintessentially Midwest, um, we are home, in, we have some nice East Coast um, representation within that Midwestern feeling. The best part about Granville is that we really get the best of both worlds in terms of our location. You are going to have a great community experience when it comes to Granville. It is an extension of that Denison community paired with a lot of great resources right at your fingertips. So we have a lot of great restaurants, all local places from a variety of different backgrounds um, and a lot of really great resources in terms of what you can do. Our farmer's market is um, a really great place to get to know the local community community, as well as they'll have music festivals. You'll see Granville residents up on the Denison campus getting to know students up there as well. So it is really a community-based experience. But as I mentioned, best of both worlds. So we also have Columbus, which is just a little bit away, 25 minutes from campus. Columbus is a really up and coming city. It's the 14th largest city in the US, second largest in the Midwest, and also second fastest growing in the nation. So a lot of really great momentum behind Columbus at the moment. Really great ways to get off campus, be able to have some recreational activities, whether that be sports games with the Columbus Blue Jackets or at a brand new Columbus Cruise Stadium or whether that be professional opportunities in Columbus. As a young alum in Columbus, I'm surrounded by a lot of my fellow Denison alums, and that's because they were able to form those connections while remaining on Denison's campus. So all of the big figureheads that are there, Big Lots, Wendy's, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, they are being able to get those internships during their time at Denison and then go into that workforce as they leave Denison. We realize that Columbus is a great place, so that's why we have the Edge program. So that is a physical space in downtown Columbus that belongs to Denison and is dedicated to Denison students, both in skill building, but also in terms of getting you connected to that, uh, those Denison networks. So bringing it back to campus, let's talk a little bit more about just our general methodology behind how we teach. So we are connection driven and relationship focused. We wanna make sure that you are making those connections inside and outside of the classroom. So we offer a wide variety of courses, over 400 courses while keeping those sizes really small. So those are gonna be ranging from 16 to 19 students, as small as my smallest class size on campus was about six students. So you're gonna be getting to know those fellow Denison students, as well as your professors. Um, mentorship is a huge part of any college experience. It's associated with success after college, as well as satisfaction with your college experience. Nationwide, Gallup did a poll, and that nationwide number of who finds a mentor in college is around 22%. On our campus, that is 92%. So those professors are coming to Denison because they want to do it. They want to facilitate an individualized education for the students that attend Denison. Um, we are also 100% res residential campus. So that also feeds into those connections and those relationships that students will form on campus. That peer-to-peer -peer mentorship is something that is huge and really makes Denison unique. You're able to get to know upperclassmen students as an underclassman and get to know from their experiences. How you'll get involved on campus. So we have of over 160 clubs and organizations. We like to refer to these as co-curricular opportunities because they are as important as the learning that happens within the classroom. So there are a variety of different ways to get involved, all of which um, are extremely popular by our Denison students. Um, all of those students will get involved in some way, shape, or form during their time here. Um, and it really is just a connection of passionate people that are taking advantage of those opportunities that are put forward by the university. There are over 600 leadership positions available at any given time through those student organizations for all students. So whether you're stepping up in your first couple of years on campus or you're getting really invested in an organization that you step into a leadership position later on, those are going to be those important things that you are able to take advantage of during your time on campus. 
And what you'll take away, um, we are a practical approach to the liberal arts. So we really wanna make sure that you are career ready as you leave our university. So it is at the heart of everything that we do. All of that will run through our Knowlton Center for Career Exploration, which is all about the quality of what we do, but also the quantity. We have 16 full-time staff members from a variety of different backgrounds that are there ready to help our students whether that be working on resumes and internships and learning how to be interview ready um, to actually going out and getting those internships, working with students to figure out what path they wanna take after their time at college. Um, some really cool things about our Knowlton Center is those are those services are available for the rest of your life as a Denisonian. You can always reach back out to the Knowlton Center. They also have a wonderful array of programs that they offer. As I mentioned, the EDGE program, we also have our LISCA Center that oversees all of our outside fellowship service opportunities. Um, we are a top Fulbright producing institution. And so they will oversee that opportunity for students as well. We also have a red frame lab, which oversees um, entrepreneurship and consulting real world problem solving experiences as well. Um, the Knowlton Center really wants to put um, financial resources behind students too. So they have an internship stipend program where if you do get a unpaid or underpaid internship during your time on campus, you can actually apply to them for cost of travel, of food, of housing, whatever will make it possible for you to say yes to those internships. By the time students leave Denison, 80% uh, of students will have at least two internships. So getting that hands-on experience is a really important part of what we do. And then overall, what we're looking for, we are on the common application. We don't have an application fee and no supplemental essay. Um, we do have some optional interview uh, options. We are also test optional. We've been test optional for the last decade. That's not something that COVID brought upon for us. Um, and we are committed to meeting 100% of demonstrated need for all students. So you can do that through submitting the FAFSA and the CSS profile, as well as you are automatically considered for merit scholarships by submitting an application to to Denison. Um, we have two binding options, early decision one and early decision two, as well as our regular decision. So I hope that that was helpful for all of you. Be more than happy to talk with anybody um, afterwards for any more information. Thank you. Anna, we can't hear you. Is that better? Yes, there we go. My headphones didn't connect. Um, so I just wanted to invite everyone on for a round of Q&A. Sorry about that. Um, so I'll have you all in the same order you presented, just quickly share a piece of advice you would give someone going through the college search process. I would certainly say to broaden your horizons, perhaps you've never heard of the CTCL groups as a whole, and we are a phenomenal group of colleges that can not only absolutely change your life, but provide you with an experience that is unique, happy, excellent, and just forms and shapes your life in unique ways. So I'd certainly say broaden your horizons, explore things in colleges that you hadn't heard of before, that you may not have considered in the past, and you'll be surprised by how spectacular the opportunities available to you are. And I would also say, and this is easier said than done, don't be overwhelmed in that there's tremendous pressure, you know, and you feel like you need to have this life changing experience before you even apply to college to get to the right college. And the truth is that we don't expect too much uh, out of you before you've even reached, you know, one of our colleges. So take a deep breath, know that it'll work out, you will go to a great place. And if any of those places is any of the places we've talked about today, I promise you, you'll be in for a fantastic life. And I think that's a pretty good promise for a life. So broaden your horizons and breathe a little. Um, my advice is much less profound, much more practical read your emails. I know you're getting so many of them from so many different colleges, but a lot of them really do have helpful information. Read your emails and talk to your admission counselors. We wanna to talk to you, we wanna know you, and our whole job is to help you. Um, so talk to us, don't be afraid of us, we're people, ask us questions, read our emails, maybe even email us back sometimes, it'll be great. 
all my colleagues here double dipping and taking all the good ones. Um, I would say that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build on Hannah's, but um, it is really important that you know that we are not salespeople. We are admission counselors. If we have counseled you well, we have done our jobs. And if that means you come to our school, great. If it means you find another great school, that's great. If we wanted to sell you on these institutions, we could. We're really good at loving these places. But I would encourage you um, to see us as people who can give you good advice because it's literally our job. So ask us questions, take deep breaths. You are gonna go to a great school. I'm just gonna ditto everything Ernan and Hannah just said. Um, but we are not salespeople, we're counselors. All of this great advice. Um, my advice for everybody would be to definitely try and visit campuses. I think that getting onto those campuses and seeing what your life is going to look like really can make the difference in, you know, how you're going to be picturing your life there. Um, that was something that made the difference for me and seeing the institutions I was looking at. So definitely get out there, visit campus, talk to students and envision your life at those different institutions. Great. Thank you all so much for sharing and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide and we encourage you to check back at the schedule and sign up for more sessions and you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at strivescan.com slash ctcl. So thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye.